Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing great. In this video, I want to show you a couple of examples of event handling and what you can achieve with this. Let's start with the first one. So here we have a program where we have a circle and a button. When I click the button, the circle gets bigger. Yeah, this is an example of event handling where the button acts like a source of the event. In this example, we have the same circle but, but two buttons, enlarge and shrink. Enlarge makes the circle bigger, shrink makes the circle smaller and also I can click the circle inside with the left button and this is with the right button. Each time I click the circle it gets bigger or smaller. Let's look at this third example. So here we have a label uh, or a text with a text A and I can control this text with my keyboard with arrow keys. I'm clicking down, down, right, 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 up, up, left, left. I can move this text anywhere I want. And let's, let's look at the fourth example. Here we have a text again, but this time I can move this text with my mouse. I can hold my mouse and drag this text anywhere I want. Okay. So these four examples are examples of event-driven programming where user has to in some way interact with the application. So if we look at the example of IntelliJ ID, we have lots of different control elements here. For example, we have uh, the drop-down bo drop down boxes, we have lots of different buttons. For example, this is a button, this is a button. All of them do different things. And in this series of videos, we're gonna explore how to uh, write such programs. Thank you guys for your attention. See you guys in the next one.